holy shipwreck. It's Missy. I had to cheat. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out to save my freaking life. So, that was the entrance hall as... <laughs> How sad is it that I have to cheat, uh, you know, right after the freaking intro to the game. I can't even, you know, figure out the first... I, I, it's not even a puzzle, I'm just blind. So, in this room... Uh, I believe there's a lever. Yep. Yep. Well, up, up isn't the right direction, so... Weird! Weird! You big dummy. Dumb, dumb! So... Oh, that... What is that? It sounds like... Oh, it sounds like little Rochi men. <laughs> Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. I don't know what that means. <laughs> That's... It's good to know that I'll have to be running soon. Fortunately, I figured that out some time ago. So this room's actually nice and bright, which is kind of cool. Um, I... That's the, I have a preference toward it being bright rather than dark and scary and terrible. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. It's not working. It's not working out between this chair and these... Roach cicada. I don't know. Madagascar hissing cicadas. How did I know something scary was gonna happen when I tried to click on that door? Don't. You can't. You can't leave if there's goop. You know, it would be funny if it actually worked. I, I think, anyway. I mean... <sighs> okay. God. This game makes my hands feel like styrofoam. And not in a good way. <laughs> the Fabrica Liquatoria. My Latin is very good. It is tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tools. Can it be torn by a lantern? No, that's silly. Okay. To be perfectly honest with you, if if I saw like weird ass skin organic tissue stuff growing and random places, I would probably try to jump out a window. Probably. But, I mean, you know, whatever. He's on a mission, apparently. Oh, jeez Louise. <laughs> if you didn't hear that, it was a woman saying, no, get away from me. And it might have given me a heart attack. Might have. And that just sounded like a dog or a bird. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, I don't think that was a dog. I think that was like a 
kookaburra or something. It wasn't. I believe that those are native to Australia and not um, Prussia or wherever we are. This door is the archives. Do I want to go in it? Sure. The door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. I didn't have to rush through that one. Oh gosh, but dosh, I don't like this already. <laughs> Sorry I talk like an eight-year-old or something with my random... Oh. I'm just gonna complain now. I wanna puke. God, I hate this game. Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> like, I hear something walking around, and then I hear a stupid little roachman. 16th of May, 1839. <sighs> the unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. <laughs> God. I, I must say, seriously, like, thank God for those letters, because I, I, I would be like, it gives you a chance to kind of chill for a second, because I feel like you kind of need the reprieve every now and again, like, ugh, ugh, my chest feels all tight and pukey, and I don't love it. I, I don't. Like, I'm a big fan of games that are not scary and generally kind of just pleasant. I mean, it can be kind of scary. Mildly scary is fine, but this is like about as spicy as it gets, scary-wise. Uh, I guess I'll light this stupid thing. Look, it's a three for one. That's kind of good, right? Were I to hide though, this is not this is not a very good hiding place. I'm kind of backed up against it. Ah I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. I I won't do that again. I promise. Um, I'm running pretty low on time, but don't worry. As I said, it's a three-parter. It's a three-parter. So I'm gonna like find a point of of stopping. Uh, um, that's not gonna do anything for me, and I don't really see why you would want to light something right here. Seems kind of wasteful. Like, very wasteful. Um, I guess this is about as good as any. I've got the catalogi on my right and a mysterious door that I don't want to go in on my left. And if you're gonna stick with me, I hope you do, because I'm not doing this for myself. <laughs> um, I will see you shortly. Alright, bye, bye, bye.